attention. The playground has been resurfaced. If anyone has any leads on who did this, please contact the main office immediately. Thank you. Hey, where were you today? Ah, I was just accepting this award. Oh, uh, that was today? What was that for again? Oh, uh, the Flushing Gazette named me a person of interest for my work with the middle-aged. Oh, you worked with the elderly. Oh, no, not anymore. A lot of people work with the old or the young. I'm done with that. With the middle-aged, I feel like I can really make a difference. What do you do with them? Uh, we get together, you know, some food, drinks, maybe dancing. We really just get to know each other better. Yeah, that sounds a lot like a party. Sounds like you got an award for throwing parties. I knew you wouldn't get it. They're an underserved population. Yeah, because they're grown-ups. Yeah, well, the Flushing Gazette named me a person of interest, and they don't do that every day. How often do they do it? Every week. Hollis, the results of your blood work came in. Oh, great. And Ted, I'd like to do a follow-up on that prostate exam. I thought everything checked out. You know, it's probably nothing, but you're middle-aged, and that's a high-risk group. So I know I'm not going to be satisfied until I get in there and root around a bit. Okay. Hey, uh, I'd like to ask you guys something, and uh, I want you to be completely honest. Sure, of course. Do you find me sexually attractive? What? Yes. I'm asking because I've decided to have a baby, and I want you both to be the father. <laughs> How could we both be the father? It's this new procedure in Germany, and basically, like, they extract sperm from two donors, and then they combine it into, like, one super sperm. That's gross. That's beautiful. I know, right? And, um, this is a little personal, but, um, I recently decided to end my own life. I realized I have nothing to live for. Literally. Nothing. You know? And so I bought a Smith & Wesson, and I just stuck it in my mouth and I thought this is right. I knew it was the right thing. And I said, yes, it's all over now. Nothing can hurt you. There's not gonna be any more pain. And then I just kind of stopped and I thought, no, you can have a baby instead. That's the solution. I can have a baby and show it to people and then put little like ironic t-shirts on it and stuff. Like imagine a baby in a Run DMC t-shirt and it's mine. How cute is that, right? That's what you can do. You make a baby and then you're important and you focus on the baby instead of that horrible sense of impending doom. And I think I'm ready to have a baby, you know? It's like, I know kids, I know all their tricks, you know? They come in here and they're like, oh, my stomach hurts, I have a fever, I have appendicitis or pneumonia or Down syndrome or whatever it turns out to be, you know? It's like, come on. It's not that your tummy hurts, it's you're dumb. That's why you don't want to be in class, you're a dummy, dumb dumb. I mean, I've seen everything. I've had a kid in here flailing around and is doing a little thing where the eyes roll back and he's foaming at the mouth, you know, and doing all that stuff where he's like spitting and he's flopping things off my desk. He knocked over one of these little pewter dogs that I got from the Franklin Mint. It's like, do you know how much those things cost? Get up and get out of here. No one's buying your little seizure routine. It's not cute. And so I handle it. And I say, get back to class, all right, you moron. And I think they respect that. And that's why I am going to be an amazing mom. And you're going to be a dad. And instead of just sleeping with any guy that claps twice or snaps at me or whatever, I'm going to choose two awesome, totally hot, amazing guys and mix the sperm together. So how would this work? So I would jerk you both off. At the same time? No, that would be weird. Well, I think I speak for Hollis when I say we would be thrilled whoa, to make you... Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. We need to discuss this. What's there to discuss? Combining our sperm. Take your time. I want to be a father. Don't deny me this chance. There's no way my girlfriend's going to go for this. What if she jerked you off? It doesn't matter who jerks me off. She's never going to go for this. You don't know that. Maybe she'll be happy. Happy for us. I can't do it. Fine. Would you be open to a single donor because... No, I'm afraid that the procedure demands the finest seed available. And you guys were my first choice. 
Rachel, we changed our mind. Let's make a baby. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Woo-hoo! Get out of here. Woo! Yes! Woo-hoo! Okay. Woo! Yes! Woo! Awesome! Might you and your girlfriend ever consider having a... Because... Can I do this like that? This is a ridiculous gesture. Yeah, okay. okay, good point. Okay. I would just. You can, you can, you can break These massive, irrational cocks I have in my mind. Now I'm on board. <laughs>